Hello friends, in this ECG video, we will discuss P wave and its features in atrial enlargements. First of all, P wave is due to atrial depolarization. And before starting, we need to understand genesis of the P wave. The P wave is due to depolarization of right atrium and left atrium. And the depolarization starts from pacemaker cells of the SA node. And SA node is present in the right atrium. So, right atrium is depolarized first, followed by the depolarization of the left atrium. So, the initial half of the P wave is because of the right atrium and the later half of the P wave is because of the left atrium. This pyramidal shaped P wave is usually present in frontal plane lids and it's most commonly studied in lead 2. For example, this is normal ECG wave in lead 2. In our previous video, we have discussed that one small box is equal to 40 milliseconds and one small box in phi axis equal to 0.1 millivolts. And normal duration of the P wave is 0.08 to 0.12 seconds. Or we can say 80 to 120 milliseconds. So in ECG paper, it comes to 2 to 3 small boxes. And normal amplitude of the P wave is around 0.2 millivolts, which is equal to 2 small box. Next thing to study is P wave in lead V1. V1 is chest lead situated in the horizontal plane. Let me explain with the help of diagram. Suppose this is the anterior chest wall, V1 is situated anteriorly. Anatomically, right atrium is anteriorly compared to left atrium. And SA node is situated in the right atrium. So the vector of depression of the right atrium is towards the V1 and the vector of depression of left atrium is away from the V1. So because of right atrium, there will be in initial positive deflection followed by a distal negative deflection because of the left atrium. So P wave normally in V1 will be biphasic. With this concept in our mind, let's study P wave changes in lead 2 and V1 in right and left atrial enlargements. First of all, right atrial enlargement. We will study simultaneously changes in lead 2 and in lead V1. Normally, in lead 2 it is pyramidal shaped and V1 is biphasic. As we discussed, the initial half of the P wave is because of right atrium and in case of right atrial enlargement, the initial half of the P wave will be enlarged followed by a normal distal half of the P wave. This increase in length of the P wave is known as P pulmonal. Mathematically, it is more than 2.5 millivolts or you can say more than 2.5 small box. In lead V1, the initial positive deflection is because of the right atrium. So there will be increased amplitude of the positive deflection followed by the normal negative deflection in V1. The length of the amplitude should be more than 0.15 millivolts or simply you can say more than one small box. Now we will see changes in left atrial enlargement in lead 2 and in lead V1. Normally it is pyramidal shape and in V1 it is biphasic. First of all in lead 2 the initial positive deflection which is because of right atrium will be normal followed by the prolonged distal displacement because of the left atrium and this is known as P mitral because of its M shape. For diagnosing it, it should be more than 120 milliseconds or we can say more than 3 small box.
and in lead v1 the initial positive weak deflection because of the right atrium will be normal followed by the deep negative deflection which is because of the left atrium it is diagnosed with the help of morris index which is calculated by multiplying depth of terminal negative wave into duration in millisecond if it is more than 0.03 it is diagnostic of left atrial enlargement